in this question, we are considering a function f from this to this, where the domain clearly is all real number except minus 4 by 3, and the range is all real number except 4 by 3. And the function is defined fx is equal to 4x plus 3 over 3x plus 4. We have to show that this function is both 1, 1 as well as onto. Bijective means when it is both injective as well as surjective. Now we can, uh, let's begin with the first part where I'm going to prove this first 1, 1. Now in order to prove this function as 1, 1, what we are going to do is to consider, let's say, let fx1 right, is equal to fx2 where x1, x2 belongs to where for x1 comma x2 belongs to all real number except we eliminate minus 4 by 3. Now if I replace fx1 right if I replace this function if I replace this function x for x1 what we are going to get is we will get this as uh, 4x1 plus 3 over 3x1 plus 4, right? And for x2, we are going to get this as 4x2 plus 3 over 3x2 plus 4. Now, what we'll do later, we'll do cross multiplication, right? We are going to do cross multiplication to simplify it further. So we'll be writing this is 4x1 plus 3 multiplied by 3x2 plus 4 is equal to 3x1 plus 4 that multiplied by 4x2 plus 3. Now if I open this bracket applying distributive property we'll get 12 times x1 x2 plus 16 times x1 plus 3, 3 into 3 is 9. 9 times x1 is x2 and 3 into 4 that is 12. On the right hand side 3 into 4 is 12 so again 12 times x1 x2 plus 3 into 3 is 9 9 times x1 plus 4 into 4 which is 16 times x2 and plus 4 plus into 3 that is 12. Now check here. We are getting some terms cancelled here. I can see that uh, 12 x1 y1, 12 x1 y1 get cancelled. This 12 and this 12 also get cancelled. Now keeping these terms, like terms together. So this is 9, 16 times x1 minus 9 times x1 will give you 7 times x1. On the other side, if I transpose this to the right hand side, it will be 16 x2 minus 9 x2, which is again 7 x2. So we see that 7 and 7 get cancelled. So x1 is equal to x2. This therefore we can say hence, hence it is 1 1. Now once we have proved this uh, function as 1 1, we are going to prove this as onto. So for onto, we have done 1 1. Now I'm going to do onto. So let's see. Remove this one one part. We have done one one. I'm going to do onto now. So for onto, what we are going to do for onto, we will consider fx. Let's say fx is equal to y. So in this function, I'm going to replace this. In this function, I'm going to replace fx with y. So if I do so, what do we get? This is y is equal to 4x plus 3 over 3x plus 4. Now we'll do cross multiplication and then we are going to write x in terms of y. So for doing so, what we are, we'll get, this is y times 3x plus 4 by cross multiplication is 4 times x plus 3. On opening the bracket, we'll get 3xy plus 4 times y is equal to 4x plus 3. Now, if I keep x terms together, we'll get 3 times xy minus 4x 
and on transposing y to the other side, 3 minus 4y. Now, for further solving, what I'm doing, I'm taking x common from here. So if I do so, I'll get 3 times y minus 4 is equal to 3 minus 4y. Right, I took here, uh, oh, x as common. If I take x as common, I had not taken x as common. It is, it is x, right? This is x. I should have written x here. So if I take x common from here, I'll get 3y minus 4. So if I have to get x, I'll write x is equal to 3y minus 3 minus 4y over 3y minus 4. As you can see that uh, this is not defined only for one value of y, that is y should not be equal to, I can write this here, where y is not equal to 4 by 3. y should not be equal to 4 by 3. And as I can see that our codomain, codomain is, let me show you which is the codomain. This is our codomain. We need a color here. This is the codomain. The codomain is what? Here the codomain. Codomain is belongs to R minus 4 by 3. And as I can see that here X is defined, right? X belongs to R. X belongs to R, right? Except for Y is not equal to 4 by 3. So we'll say that. A range is equal to the codomain. So what does it mean? It means to say that if you place y as any real number other than 4 by 3, which is from the codomain, then we are going to get an x as a real number. Repeating, if you are going to plug in or replace x with any real number except 4 by 3, which is a codomain only for all values of codomain we are getting x as a real number and since x belongs to all real number except minus 4 by 3 we say that for we have a pre-image for all values of y and that's why we are writing the range is equal to codomain and then we'll end this by writing hence hence on to hence it is on to so once we proved the function as a First, we proved this as injective, and then we proved it surjective. Therefore, we say it is bijective. A function which is both 1, 1, and onto is called a bijective.